just play after me. I'm gonna give you the first note, and that's an open D, okay? And I'm gonna cue you when to play on open D. Open A. Now you're gonna play with me, watch this. With me, open D, down, up, 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 down, down. Now watch this variation. Shake it out, shake it out. Everybody doing okay so far? Give me a thumbs up if you're okay. Awesome, awesome, you're doing great. So I'm gonna try to play some longer lines now, some longer lines, longer melodies, and see if you can follow the longer melody, okay? Um... Do your best. <laughs> Any bowing you want to use on D. was my fault. Sorry. <laughs> That's a tricky one. Awesome, shake it out. And we've just been joined by a couple new people, including Asheville Middle School. Welcome Asheville Middle School and Alice. So since you're just joining us, we're playing in the key of D major and, uh, and uh, all you have to do is play after me. Welcome everybody. Uh, 
and uh, yeah. So we're in the key of D major. I'm gonna start on open D. Ready? Open D. Open D. That's tricky. Might be tricky for the cellos. The high C sharp, right? I'll do it again. Let's go back to the rhythm. Watch this. Open D and A. With me. Down, up, down. Try to put that accent, so we accent the down, the up. If you want, you can sway your body. Kind of dance in your chair a little bit. All right, a little more play after me. On D, high D. We da da Cellos, that's the D on your A string. On D. On E. play it exactly don't worry about it it's a process just have fun with it I'm always starting on open D awesome awesome Give yourself a give yourself a pat on the back or something, you know. Give, give yourself a little applause. Whatever, whatever you do for yourself, to let to uh, just acknowledge yourself for showing up, and focusing and trying something new. That's amazing. That's great, right? This might be new for a lot of you, like just trying to play stuff back that you hear. We're gonna go to a different groove now. I like to do different grooves. So let's see what I can find here. Uh, this is going to be in the key of G major. And I just want to make sure, can you still hear my voice and hear the backing track? Okay, getting some thumbs up there. Good. And uh, let me just ask you this. So far, what I've been doing, has it been too hard or too easy? Or does it feel like about right for you? Maybe that's hard. Well, okay, put your thumbs up if it's about right. Okay, uh, raise your hand if you're like, this is way too easy for me. Okay, I didn't see any hands. But, but, but I will say, if you get into a situation where it's too easy for you, and I think that, I hope that your teachers will agree with me, or I, I think they'll probably agree with me. If you ever get in a situation in orchestra rehearsal or any class where something's too easy for you, there are things that you can do to make it more challenging. You could add vibrato. You could shift on one string. You can even try to play the lines an octave higher. So just bear that in mind. Um, there and or you know you can uh, yeah those are those are three things I would suggest. Also the lines that I play are just suggestions. So if you want to play your own version, then you can improvise your own lines. You don't have to play exactly what I play back to me. Okay. So those are ways to make it more challenging. Now if it's too hard for you you can also adapt it and just make it something easier that works for you. You can play the same note, all right? So we're in a new key here. Now, now we're in the key of G. Playing after me. 
I might make this a little more challenging, all right? I'm gonna start with some uh, longer lines, longer lines, and they may be challenging. Here we go, I'm gonna start on the note G. So it's gonna be on G. More challenging, right? Just do your best. On G. Check it out. So when I do these bowing exercises, if you play the violin, I suggest you do it at the tip. If you play the cello, you can be in the middle. And of course, I'm not your teacher, so you can always check with your teacher. Let's go back to this one. So you're either here, violin and viola, tip, tip of the bow. Cello, you can be in the middle. Stay light. Less bow, less bow in this case. Now, if you want, you can go here. And you can always get your sway, sway your body if you want. Tap your foot. Play after me. On G. Starting on G. On B. On G. On D. On G. Longer line. You play it. Starting on D. That's a little bit tricky. On B. I'll give you another chance on that one. share a concept with you now and by the way good job hanging in there and if it gets just way too hard you can always put it in the chat hey it's just too hard um but i'm gonna i'm gonna just first i'm gonna play a little bit for you show you, show you where you could go with something like this <laughs> So 
that's where you can go with it, where you can get so comfortable with um, uh, uh, the major scale that you can improvise and do a lot of uh, different shapes with it, right? So what I'm going to share with you is a way to think about the major scale that might be new for you. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to play that scale starting from every note. So for example, starting, starting from G and then starting from A and then starting from B. So we're going to do that together. So with me, we're gonna start on G, we're gonna play the G scale. Ready, go. We'll stop there. Now we're gonna do the same scale starting on A, from A. Stop. Now we're gonna start on B, play the G major scale. We're going to start on C. Now we're going to do open D. We'll stop. We'll start on E. from E. Sorry, cellos. E. Now we start on D. Now we start on C. Now go straight to the B. Now we're going to start from A. G. And eventually you can develop the speed, right? So the, the speed of that of that line. Right? And that just comes from practice. But the idea is that we're we're taking a shape in the scale and we're sequencing it. We're sequencing it. Let's try a simpler version. Let's do, so this is going to be, I'm going to play it for you so you can hear it. I start from G, and then A, then B, like that. So together it'll sound like... Etc. Etc. Let's try that. Okay. Is that gonna is that uh, gonna be too hard, or does that feel like a good appropriate challenge? Am I getting a thumbs up? Okay, great. Let's try it. Here we go. Two. Ready on G. On B. On C. On D. E. Any bowing you want. Down from C, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, and then C. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome. So now let's do uh, uh, let's do uh, a, a different pattern. I'm going to play it and you play it back to me first. So it's going to be G, B, D. It's going to have a certain shape. So G, B, D, you play it. play it so you can hear what it sounds like. 
we'll do slower than that, okay? Ready, go. You play it. C. B. A. Now let's do it together. On G. F sharp. Go back to a little bit of grooving with the bow. We'll groove with the bow. Show you some different patterns you can do. So we'll just start here on G. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, and you don't have to, but if you want to, you can put the accent in different places on the one. And there are on the two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Put it on the three. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three. Or you put it on the four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Stay light. Remember. Violins and violas, you should be at the tip. Cellos, bass, you can be in the middle of the bow. So watch this. Do that with me if you want. Here's a variation. Watch this one. Try it. Great. So check this out. This is going to be a little bit trippy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to play any note from the G major scale. And the way I think about that is, well, what are the letter names of all the notes? It's just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Everything's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then whatever flats, whatever sharps, right? But all the notes that we use are basically A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So the way I think about a key signature, like G major, is I think A, B, C, D, E, F, G, when what is sharp? Anybody? F sharps, right? The key of G major has F sharps. So the way I think about that on the instrument itself is I think A, B, C, D, E, F, G, when F is sharp. So that could include right it's anything when you're playing a b c d e f g and f is sharp it's not just that's the first level of the scale so um what i want you to do is pick any note a b c d e f g when F is sharp, and play it together. You're all gonna be playing notes at the same time. I'm just gonna cue you, I'm gonna say play a note, and you're gonna play it together. And then I'm gonna cut you off. You ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, when F is sharp, think about what note you're gonna choose. Think about it, think about it. You got it? Okay, on my cue, you're gonna play it. One, two, ready, go. Play, hold it, hold your note. Now let it go. Now think of your next note. Next note, you got it? And play. Hold your note. Let it go. Do that again. Pick a different note. Ready, you got it? And play. Start the note together, hold it, and release together. Pick your next note. Ready, start together. Uh, hold it. Hold that note. Let it go. Uh. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but a little bit faster. You ready? Here's your note. Note. Hold it. Now, next note. Play it. Hold it. Think of your next note. Ready? Play it. Hold it. What's next? Now we're gonna do that twice as fast. All right? So next note, play. Next note, play. Next note, uh. 
think ahead? What's next? nice so i'm going to share a concept with you this is called melodic rhythm it's the rhythm of the melody so like if i play this melody it has a rhythm right the rhythm is so i could take the same rhythm but put different notes to it right i'll show you one other example so right so I'm going to give you a melodic rhythm, and I want you to choose the notes from the G major scale and play whatever you want. This is the melodic rhythm. Da, 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 da. I'm going to give you an example. You can play the same note. You can walk down a scale. You can jump around. Okay, you got it? You get to pick your notes from the G major scale. You're going to play that melodic rhythm. We're going to do like five or six examples, and then we're going to do a different melodic rhythm. Let's go. You got your you got your first idea. Two, ready, go. Blah 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 blah. Now do it again. Something else. Da, 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 da. Something different. Something different. Two more. One more. Congratulations, you're improvising. Here's a different melodic rhythm. Check out my, play, play it back to me first, okay? On D, on D. You play it. Play it on D. One more example. On B. So you got the melodic rhythm. So now you choose your notes and you do you do your version. Okay? One, two, ready, first one. Different one. Another one. All right, here's a different rhythm. Play that line. Play after me. On open D. On B. play that melodic rhythm but make up your own notes okay i'll count you in i'll give you four and then you're gonna come in one two three ba 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 da like that okay so it's after three one two three ba da 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 next idea ba 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 Cool, cool, cool. Hope you like that concept. We've got about, uh, what do we have here? We're going to do about eight more minutes of playing, all right? You holding in there okay? About eight more minutes of playing, and then we'll do a little bit of Q&A. I've got a new loop for you. It's a little slower loop. I make all these with my violin, by the way. All these backing tracks you're hearing, I make them sitting right here. I've got a loop pedal, and I just make all the parts with my violin. So this is in the key of A major. So if you want, you can just pluck around a little bit. Whatever you want to do, pluck around. We're going to do plucking for a minute. So pluck and just find the A major scale. Three sharps. C sharps, F sharps, G sharps. Just pluck around. Explore the A major scale. Because 
some of those notes like G sharps, especially way down here. When's the last time you played a G sharp way down there, right? For cellos, how often do you play your low C sharp on the C string, right? This is a chance to just explore. And I'm just gonna play a little bit for you. I'm just gonna play. that G sharp, right? cellos I didn't think about that about that E. That's okay. Sometimes we just got to reach in life, right? <laughs> Every cello player play an E on the A string. Open A string. Find that E. Don't be, there's nothing to be afraid of. Just find that E. Just move your finger. It's going to sound like this on the cello. So what we're going to do this time is I'm going to play something, but now you get to play whatever you want after me, whatever you want. All right. Whatever you want. So that way, if it's too easy, you make something harder. If it's too hard, you make something easier. Okay. This is called trading, trading, right? Play whatever you want.
my turn. Your turn. My turn. about 30 seconds do whatever you want whatever you want a major a 15 more seconds Let's wrap it. Let's wrap it. We are done with the playing part of today. We played for 40 minutes for those of you that started us on, uh, you know, that were able to join us at the beginning. And I do want to take like just the next five minutes, if you got them, to just get any feedback you have, any questions you have, if you would like to participate in that. And I would love to know, yeah, like, was there something that you took away from it? Uh, was there something you learned? Was there something you enjoyed? Was it too hard? Was it too easy? Anything you'd like to see in the future, et cetera, et cetera. In case anybody wants to share anything or ask anything. Great times over here. I think the kids had a really good time. They're packing up, they're packing up heading to the next thing. Um, I'm going to go do the transition, but if there's still time, we'll get back. I'll come back and have some more feedback. Thank you, Mr. Keel at the Asheville Middle School. Thank you. Yeah, any, any. So Sasha's going to say a few words or maybe. Did you enjoy improvising? Yeah. Okay, Max enjoyed improvising and Sam just <laughs> vanished to enjoy improvising. Okay, Casey said. That's great. Thank you, Mrs. Ash. Thank you, Ms. Ash in Wisconsin. Thanks for bringing your class. And then we also have uh, Ms. Shades and uh, Ms. Coke. Uh, anything you want to share? I thought it was really fun. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. What grade are you in? That's great. Sixth grade. You were hanging there with the eighth graders. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah our, our sixth graders have only been playing for a few months. Wow. Was it, was it, uh, was it, uh, hard to do? Some of the things were hard to do then maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you still had a good time. That's amazing. That's so great. That's a great attitude to have, to be willing to take on challenges like that. Thank you. Thanks for sharing and thanks for bringing them, Ms. Shades. Thank you so much. We, um, they all have to go to lunch now, so we're going to log off. But you're the best. That was so much fun. Thank you. I appreciate so you. Thank you. Hope to see you again. And we're one of the things all we're right. going to try to do is tailor even more specifically to different levels because I'm noticing that like sometimes in middle school we'll have like a really advanced eighth grade class and then we might have sixth graders that just have only been playing for a couple months so I'm going to try to dial that in as well as we continue to do this and so just as a reminder if you know any colleagues that would like to join then it'll make it easy for us to do you know things that are really dialed in for the same level like just sixth grade or just eighth grade or like whatever so just bear that in mind All right. thank you thank you yeah uh, Ms. Coke, do you have any feedback? Oh, no, thank you so much. Um, I think that's awesome. He's 
guys are super excited. They didn't have to take their quiz today. <laughs> so, this is way more fun. Awesome. Yay, no quiz. Well, I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed it. We hope to serve you again in the future. Please let your colleagues know. Yeah. Thank you. And I see that Alice is here. Alice, I don't know if you want to say anything or not. You're welcome to unmute and say anything if you want to. <clears throat> and not hearing from Alice. So I'm just going to call it. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Take care.